Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Scarlet Nexus and uh, we're moving into phase six today. And uh, as you can see, Hanabi is greatly enjoying her squash racket. She's she's practicing for the game, baby. But uh, let's get going. I've been thinking about this too much. My brain is going numb. I should get some rest. Ooh, are we going to lose some more time? You never know. Yuito, wake up. Wataru is on the line. <sighs> Sorry. I only meant to take a little break, but it looks like I fell asleep. So, Wataru, what's up? Is the fact that we snuck into the old OSF hospital going to be an issue? No. Major General Fubuki was able to take care of that for us, so that's not a problem anymore. Jesus. It might not be a big deal, but I thought I should let you know about the hole in Kunat Highway. Oh, okay. Now that you mention it, there was something strange in the sky above Kunat Highway. Yeah. I guess you could call it a hole. So much happened after that, I'd forgotten about it. So what was it? It seemed to be created by Kasane. It the Kunat Gate. A survey team took a look, but aside from the extremely localized gravitational anomaly, they don't know anything about it. It's just that it has similar characteristics to a black hole, so that area has been deemed off-limits. Kunat Gate. Nothing could be seen on the other side. It was unsettling. You might not go there, but I figured it's better to know about it than not. That's true. Thanks for telling me about it. If you learn anything more, please let me know. As you wish. Oh, I almost forgot. Yuito Platoon's next orders are to stay on standby. So you can hang around the hideout a little while longer. Really? Then I think we should do just that. Yes, that is a good idea. Knowing Fubuki, I'm sure he arranged all of this. So I think it's best to comply. I thought we were going to go to the hole. Choice to face it, eyes open. Mind if I come in? Major General Fubuki. What's his How game? How did you find this place? I told him. I thought it would be safer to talk here in the hideout rather than meet in the safe zone every time. Thank you, Luca. I managed to sneak past their surveillance, so we should be fine for a little while. They started monitoring you? I told you before that I was a government dog, but I don't have to be a dog anymore now that Karin's gone. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Karin's personality didn't make him popular with the government. The top brass has been targeting him for elimination or personality really? rehabilitation for some time. You now. were probably there to That's watch why him. I took on the role of being the government's puppet, directing the OSF in Karin's place. So, does he... He doesn't know that I had to become his monitor in order to protect him from the government. So you actually Besides, saved his ass. Even if I told him, he'd probably just tell me to stay out of it. To be honest, I'm a little relieved. I don't have to be the government's yes-man anymore. Government surveillance will be stretched thin after Seiron's uprising. I don't plan on missing this opportunity. I should be able to bring change to this country by taking a different path from Karin. Different path? What are you planning on doing? This country is aggressively pursuing power research through illegal human experimentations. I have no idea why. They can get away with it because the government has complete control over information. Even the media is under the government's monitoring and influence. I want to find out why they would do this and free this country from its corrupt system. It's something I can get Karin down for. joined forces with Seiron and rebelled against the state to do the same. However, I feel that collapsing the government system from the inside is the fastest way to results. My brother is trying to change this country from the outside, while you're trying to change it from within. Hmm. Thinking about it, I'm not sure which I think would work better. I think I'm leaning towards the inside, though. I mean, it, se it seems like changing it from the inside is, like, the best way to do it with the least amount of death and destruction, right? Karin's way is war. Our way is, like, subterfuge. But I don't know. That doesn't necessarily make it true or better. But we'll see how this plays out. Yes. Feigning loyalty allows us opportunities to learn valuable information. 
We should be able to find out what the government is hiding through the city computer Arahobaki. Please, let me help you. I want to know what my father has done, and what my brother is hiding. Yuito, you are the commander of this platoon, and a commander's number one responsibility is to their platoon members. If you attempt to pursue these government secrets, it will undoubtedly put your platoon members in danger. Are you fully aware of that? Then please, remove me from command. I can't do that because, for better or worse, there are many eyes on you. There's also the fact that your post was specifically ordered by Chief Kaito Sumeragi. Hmm. Well, if we all agree with what Commander Yuito is doing, then it doesn't matter. Yama! Either way, my time with the OSF is drawing to an end. I'm getting too old. But before I leave, I want to uncover the truth. I want to know why that happened to Naomi, and why Nagi received personality rehabilitation. I agree with Gemma. If you're going to try to uncover the government's secrets, then I would like to help. I was also subjected to this country's human experiments. What do you mean? My brother Karin and I received power enhancement treatments. This is I new. I had no idea. If Yuito can't be removed from the platoon, then you can remove the platoon members instead. I mean, supposedly those ampules are supposed to enhance your psychokine your your abilities, right? Your kinesis abilities or whatever they're calling it. Um So we know that, but what we don't know is why that ampule that was shot at Naomi turned her into an other. Any member who doesn't want to take part in this can simply be assigned to a different platoon. Fine. I can't very well turn down your help now. However, reorganizing your platoon requires paperwork. So I will issue you an official deployment order in the meantime. Please gather intel around the Seiron area. I've heard OSF deserters are appearing around Mizuhagawa. Former OSF members sympathetic to Seiron's cause could be up to something. While you're investigating, I will take the steps necessary to reassign Hanabi and Sugumi to a different platoon. Really? What? Why? Oh. Okay, get to it then. Huh, why though? Yuito, I'll stay in the platoon as the operator. I feel the same as you and Gemma. I'll help you stop the government from doing whatever they want. Thanks, Wataru. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um, now, what was... I was, I was like, thinking about something during that, and I just blanked on what it was. Um... Shit, what was it? I felt like I was on to something. Or wanted to speculate about something, and I forgot what it was! Okay, I got it back. So, the speculation is, and this might just sound obvious to some of you, as it kind of does to me now that I'm thinking about it, it's like... Maybe it's just the fact that these uh, psychokinetic, these these abilities, um, when pushed too far, turn you into others, right? Like if you if you get over st uh, stimulated or whatever with these powers, that's what creates others. So, you know, the fact that this entire society is built around like people who have these powers, and most people do have some kind of psionic powers. Um, the ones who don't are called fucking duds, which is fucking awful. I wonder if that's just leading to more others being created and, like, the government's trying to hide it because this is just people's way of life and they want the power, but they don't... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, Sugumi is a madwoman back there. Um, she is watering that entire fucking shelf. Watch that. Oh, 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 it's getting on, it's getting on the floor, girl. All right. Okay, um, let's go to town real quick, see if there are... I remember what buttons to push sometimes. Um, let's see if there are any more quests to pick up, and then we'll go to Mizu Mizuhagawa. Mi Mizuhagawa. <sighs> I can't talk today. I can't talk today. I'm also still fighting this cold. It doesn't help doesn't help.
It might be because others are coming into the city a lot lately, but less people have been coming to the gym. My gym will go out of business at this rate. Can you help me? Think of it as a rescue mission. Others aren't scary if you're jacked. I want to, I want to use a line like that for marketing. So take down some others with your shreddy body. Okay. While SAS Sclero Scler Sclerokinesis is active, defeat three Bronyon. Man, I really do hate these quest systems. They really are not good. What was it? Something Brawn? Bronyon. They're really damn similar, huh? Okay, well this one is definitely not in Mizuhagawa, so... Okay, let's go. to the construction site. I thought she was gonna be given to a different platoon. She's still with us. Okay, I must have misunderstood. Maybe that happens later? Okay. Yeah, we'll keep the two of you in for now. You feel more comfortable with someone you're familiar with? That's fine with me. <laughs> this jazz music. There's a chance that Seiron OSF patrols might show up beyond this point. Let's keep our eyes open. Were you serious about what you said back at the hideout? About helping Major General Fubuki? Right. Because wouldn't that mean going against your brother and your late father? I'm... staying in this platoon. What? Sugumi. What happened to Naomi was terrible. And if the government had something to do with it, then I won't let them get away with it. Okay, now I understand. They were gonna get reassigned because they didn't say that they were going to follow Yuito. Right? Not explicitly. Hold on. Incoming others from the front. Yema definitely no, no. did, right? Sugumi, we'll talk later. For now, let's clean up the others. Yeah, you're right. Are you still? Finish. I can hit it. Come on. Yuito. Now die! It's over! Next, 
I think that was. Is there any more others? I'm not reading any. Mm. I think that was working towards one of my quests. Are you okay? Oh, we just lost more time. Shit. Now we're down below where Arashi and Gemma, where we first met them. Yeah, I didn't take too much damage in that fight. What are you talking about? You suddenly said your head hurt and stopped dead in your tracks. Fuck, dude. Huh? Did you black out again? Do you remember what we were talking about? I think we lost whatever item that guy dropped. Damn, that sucks. About. Hanabi asked me if I was really going to help Major General Fubuki. And then Sugumi said she was going to stay in the platoon. And after that? After that, we got attacked by others. So we obviously didn't talk about anything. <laughs> right? You don't remember Luca and Gemma's stories? What did they talk about? About my aging and the experiments Luca was subjected to. <sighs> Sorry, I don't remember any of that. Did you really talk about that? Yuito, I was listening so I can verify. I'm not seeing any abnormalities to your status, so maybe it's just mental exhaustion like the doctor said. The more you use your power, the more you tax your brain. It might be better to avoid fights right now. I can't do that. We have our assignment. Uh-oh. What's this? Are you really okay? That looked like Hanabi. Ginger. What? Huh? What? Flax pig. Table slug? What? None of the words are matching what I'm thinking. Apple home child. I That's like a real thing that people can have happen to them where like they'll they'll try and say something but the wrong words come out. I don't know what it's called, but that's a real thing that can happen to people. I see an abnormality in his cranium. What's going on? His speech is impaired. His brain must have experienced a great amount of stress. Well, what can we do? We have the medication the Shit. hospital provided. We're gonna have the to take it. This seems fishy. It looks exactly like the ampules we found at the abandoned subway. Everyone, be careful. You have an other closing in on you. His timing couldn't be worse. Stay here and rescue Ito. We'll handle the others. Damn it! My head feels like it's going to split in two! Oh, I can't- I can't use my SAS abilities. It won't let me do anything, man. Oh, there we go. Now I can use my item. R2 isn't working. Jump, you asshole! Really? You're gonna do this to me? I might so I'm gonna let myself die to see if that's what I'm supposed to do. This isn't good. Okay. I can't use my power at all. I won't even be able to fight. No reason to waste what my items if they're just gonna fuck Is me. Is there some way to cure him? Do I drink it? Yuito. No time to be squeamish. That other's gonna kill me if I don't take this. I have to. Yuito? Did he drink the medication? Sugumi! I'm looking now. Oh. The abnormality in his cranium is starting to disappear. This medication is really working. Uh, my head is starting to hurt a lot less. I wonder if this is an illness that they brought on to him in the first place, though. The OSF. Yuito, I can understand what you're saying now. Can you fight? Yeah, I'm good to go. Let's take them out. I can move. It doesn't hurt as much. 
much. I can do this. I need you, Gemma. Damage the outer shell confirmed. Keep going and break it. Don't get burned. Here we go. Are you all right? At this rate. I thought that thing would break more than it did. I was going for the break because that was part of the quest that we're currently doing. I'm not picking up any abnormalities on my end. How are you feeling, Yuito? I feel fine now. I know I had you worried, but I'm glad I took it. Honestly, I wasn't going to be any help in that condition. That makes sense. And I'm not seeing any signs of side effects either. Perhaps there was no need to worry about the medication after <laughs> Yeah, right. Well, it smelled weird and tasted really bad. Are we going to continue on our assignment? It wouldn't Should be a plot element if it wasn't important. I'm fine. My powers are working normally again. I'll let you know if something feels off. Let's keep going. Copy that. But please don't push yourself too hard. Promise me. Okay. I promise. I want to ask everyone something. I don't want to worry you, Ido, so I'm sending this to everyone else. Um, I think you uh, got me in the message anyway. He got to check up at the hospital, but his condition is getting even worse. I'm worried. He said he was hospitalized as a child, so he's just prone to being sick, isn't he? <laughs> That's right, so I know it will be difficult, but I want to put as little stress on Yuido as possible, physically and mentally. I believe Yuido's fatigue has reached its limits. I agree with Hanabi. I will think about what I can do. Yeah, I agree too. I'll do my best not to stress him out. Okay, I'll be careful of how I relay information. I'll make sure to keep a close eye on Yuido's status going forward as well. Also, you didn't do that on purpose, did you, Hanabi? Thanks, everyone. Huh? What do you mean, uh, on... What do you- what do you mean, Wataru? Yuido is tagged as an addressee. What? Wait, no way! Ugh. Don't read this, Yuido, please, it's nothing, seriously. Even if you did see it, just pretend you didn't, you don't need to reply. You messed up, girl. <laughs> I can still fight! Okay. Okay, it specifically has to be a wither sabbat. Oh, okay, the ones with the horns, not these ones. These things are too fucking specific. Yeah, I don't know. This the quest system really is quite bad. Looks like there's a resource nearby. I think there's sometimes a Wither Saba out here, though, isn't there? Focus. Focus. 
All right. That went well. I like this game. Oh, they're not the right ones. Gamma sclerokinesis might be affected. Here you go! The shell is broken. Give it everything you have. Oh, hell. Oh, I tried to get the dodge. fight in there maybe maybe okay there's like a parallel path over here we're always together does that mean you rely on me time to use this you like this game a lot. Can you tell? Now 
where is this taking us? Refueling drink, cool. Haven't really been using those. Probably should. Should have used that during the uh, Kasane uh, fight that we had in the last episode. gotten anything for any of the things we have marked. Mm, no, we won't do those yet. Ooh, you know what? There. I do want to mark Whoops. Oh yeah, I like that. Uh, how do I add to wish list? Oh, maybe I have too many things on my wish list. Um, we don't need these. Okay, that one's on our wish list. Cool. So I can't detect anything from my end. Any other information? I think they're trucks. Two of them. They're moving towards Seiron. So they're OSF. Hmm? Seiron OSF? Um, I thought I just saw something inside the truck bed. Although, it was probably my imagination. Okay, I managed to tap into a nearby... Maybe they captured camera. another? Those are OSF transport vehicles. Enemy or ally? Yuito Platoon is the only OSF team deployed near Mizuhagawa. Then I guess that means they're Seiron's OSF team. <gasps> I see two individuals heading towards us. It looks like Kagura and Kyoka. <laughs> of course, they're invisible. Be careful, I'm not picking them up at all. All right. Right. Here they come. Right. Take that. <laughs> But Kyoka, we got along so well. I wonder why Kyoka and Kagero attacked us. I thought that Kasane was the one after you Use this. Is it because they're on Kasane's side? Or some other reason? Regardless, please be careful. Take this! Thanks, Sanabi! Your power is the absolute worst to go against. I wonder if that's why we're such good friends. Her attacks are too fucking fast. Might have been better to go after Kagero first, but... They're stronger than anticipated. Let's go. We did what we needed to. 
Were Kyoka and Kagero guarding this area? What did they need to do? Did it have to do with the transport vehicle? They were clearly stalling for time. Trying to let them I'll escape? Them. Sugumi, could you send me their tracking data? I can't. There are so many Kagero's and Kyoka's. They're all going in different directions. What? That's Kyoka's duplication power. Oh. They're attempting to confuse I us. I didn't know what her power was. I'm sorry. It's going to take time to identify the real pair. I also lost sight of the transport vehicles. I hate losing. It was a diversion to hide the transport vehicle's destination from Sugumi. Which direction were the vehicles going the last time you saw them? I think towards Seiron. They must have been carrying something important if they made sure we didn't follow. We might be able to find out some key information. Give me some time. I'll see what I can find out with Tsugumi's information. Yubito, there's a place I want to check out, but it's in a different direction from Seiron. It looks like the duplicates are all avoiding this area. I can't be sure, but it seems suspicious. Nice catch, Wataru. Okay, we'll go check it out. Okay, interesting. Whoa, look at this place. Supernatural Life Research Facility. What is this place? There's nobody here. Hey, I see the transport vehicles. Then this must be it. We're pretty far from the city. Do you think this is still Seiron's facility? I can't seem to find any information on it at all, which only makes it more suspicious. Looks like they haven't noticed us yet. But I do feel a strange presence here. I can't really put it into words either. I will go check the vehicle. Sugumi, Wataru, please cover me. Hey, Yuito. Are you remembering things okay? What about your speech? Any headaches? I'm okay for now. No need to worry so much. You are making sense. It's natural for her to feel worried. Don't push yourself too hard. You've always had health problems, ever since you were little. Really? That's right. You did mention that before. Yeah. I spent most of my early childhood inside a hospital. They finally let me leave when I was around five, and I've been fine ever since. Wait. Luca found something quite alarming. What do you mean? I know what the transport vehicles are carrying. Human heads. What the fuck? It can't be. The transport vehicle was filled with these. Why? No, I thought I was just seeing things, but they're really. One of the trucks was already empty, but I believe it was carrying the same thing. Two trucks worth of human heads? What in the hell for? Let's try sneaking in a little further. Kasane and her team might be here. Okay. We need to find out why they're doing this anyway. That's fucking disturbing. Why? So it's called the Supernatural Life Research Facility. The only supernatural life that we know of are the others. So is this a place for them to research others? And do the heads have something to do with that? Obviously others eat brains, supposedly. That's at least what they seem to be going for when they kill humans. We don't really know why. And we don't know why some humans can turn into others or if they, it's also possible that all others used to be humans. That seems to uh, be reasonable to assume, maybe? I don't know, man. There's a lot going on. Okay, let's check our... Let's check our uh, brain map. Okay, we haven't gotten any new BP. It's like a bunch of art and stuff too, it's weird. Well, they did a terrible job of masking their shit, didn't they? We found their destination almost immediately.
I don't know if they gain more experience or what when they're in or out of the party, but... Look at this place. All right. Figured. It won't open. I guess sneaking in is going to be harder than I thought. I can't use my clairvoyance on any of these doors. Hmm. Who are... <laughs> Forgive the rough treatment. Don't worry, we only knocked him out. He won't be waking up for a while. Wow, all three of you were amazing. Made quick Thanks. work of that. I couldn't even move. I'm glad I have people like you who can make such quick decisions. Says the Hold leader. On. This might be a key card for the door. Nice find, Sugumi. We shouldn't have a problem getting in now. This puts us in enemy territory. I need to be ready for anything. Okay, let's try this door. Okay, key card number one. You don't have key card number four, so the lock can't be opened. This gate needs a key card to open, I think. Can we teleport through that? Usually, no, we can't. Usually they'd be marked with a thing on the map. You'd think you'd be able to. But they're all marked when you can, so... And there are others here. Here we go! We should use Hanabi's power. What's going on? Why are there others all over the place? This doesn't look like an abandoned building. It appears to be... Leave it to me! It's over! Some sort of active research facility. Let's keep going. It sprayed something like oil. Don't get it. I can hit it! Thanks for the advice, but they're dead already. <laughs> Damn it. I was trying to get the perfect dodge thing. I'm doing a bad job of that lately. Got everything right? Yeah. Turn that off. A resource reading near here. Okay, I mean they're giving us little previews of rooms. Dude, this place is nuts. Cool environment. What did those do again? Oh, it's for ailments, right? Brainfield gear, that's a consumable. I'm guessing it like fills up the brain drive, the brainfield drive? Or um lets you access the the brain field, right? Which you can only do at certain points. Okay, never mind. Max Jelly. Hm. 
was close. How come that didn't break it? I got the perfect dodge on her thing. Interesting, we can't even uh, interact with this one. Number two for this one. Needs a key card to open, I think. Do you need help? Okay, that's probably the key card. Why is there a key card on the floor? There's a smudge that looks like blood on it. That's definitely blood. Perhaps a researcher was attacked by another. Go, Yuito. Okay, number three for that. needs a key card to open, I think. Oh, weird. How'd you get down here so fast? Oh, that's the entrance right there. It's a key card to open. Yeah, I know. We always get the brain drive at the worst time. This gate needs a key card to open, I think. Gotta get to that one from the other side. Hey. 
I didn't want to use the max. Fuck you. That was bad. Too many enemies close. This is pretty rare. Good. This is a bad fight. This item better be fucking good. Okay, it's a max jelly, it is. I almost like triggered doing a max jelly in that fight. By accident. Very good, actually. Oh, can I? Oh, I move it. I didn't realize I was the one that was supposed to move it. Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Field Mark IV.
The resource reading is close. Should we get it? Using brain drive. I need you, Kemma. You will do. Break the outer shell to keep attacking. If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health. So be careful. Shell break confirmed. Put the pressure on. Crush you! Now die! Going, buddy. If you can't see anything, use SAS to find the source of the smoke. I need your help. Where did we even start? In this hallway, right? Yeah, we came from this hallway. I think we got all the items here. We would, yep. Okay, cool. Do you need help? This is pretty rare. Oh, they're not even gonna let us open that for a shortcut. Back. That's rude. It's like right there. Okay, we're gonna have to go around. Okay, but we're gonna have to end this episode here. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, and Anur. If you also would like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you.